Hi, this is Stephen from Owner Disown, and uh, today we're going to take a look at some overclocking on notebooks. Many of my viewers have asked uh, for a brief guide or tutorial on uh, overclocking, for example, the uh, MSI GT73 VR I have. That has an overclockable CPU, the i7-6820HK, and the same methods will apply to uh, all the notebooks with that uh, CPU, or even the new KB Lake uh, i7-7820HK, so any K processor on, on a notebook primarily. I will go through the BIOS, I'll be looking through Intel uh, Extreme Utility, um, also the software, the Dragon Center software on the MSIs, and also using uh, Throttle Stop. So, let's take a look. Let's take a look at the Dragon Center software that's available on most MSI notebooks. ASUS has their own software called the Gaming Center software. Aurorus and Gigabyte will have their own. Alienware don't have their software, you either have to use the BIOS or a third-party utility. So uh, you open Dragon Center by clicking on the icon in the system tray. And then to make sure you've got ample cooling, click on Cooler Boost and Apply. At default, your computer will be on Sport, which will mean that the uh, boost frequency will be uh, a maximum of 3600 uh, MHz. You then click on the cog in the, in the settings to bring up all the profiles and uh, by default they'll all be blank. You uh, click on one and uh, give it a name. Let's uh, just call this one 411111. And then you click the uh, little cog and uh, change to the settings that you want. So I'm gonna have every core at 41 multiplier. Click apply. And you'll notice there that uh, each core is at uh, 4.1 gigahertz. You can just press a uh, shortcut so like the left control and two key to uh, automatically uh, go in it like that you can see in hw monitor that it's at 4.1 and uh, the dragon center software is quite easy to use i do like the fact that uh, you can uh, create profiles and activate them uh, using a control and number key so before i show the result of the overclocking score this is the stock score 689 points Notice the uh, package wattage on the CPU, 54 watt. So overclocking gives 822 points. And also notice the CPU wattage at 77 watts. The CPU needs ample wattage to keep it stable at that clock speed. So let's take a look at the BIOS options. On Alienware, you press the F2 key. On MSI, the Delete key. You then navigate to the overclock section. And uh, you can see the uh, multiplier ratios there, which are default at 36 as shown here in the MSI BIOS. On the Alienware BIOS, you have different presets. So level two, level three, which increases the multiplier by one, or you can have a customization where you can set the multiplier independently yourself. So back to the GT73 VR, I increased the multiplier to 41, and then the turbo uh, power limit um, one and two I increased to uh, 230 watts just to uh, make it uh, stable and ensure I've got as maximum wattage to the CPU that I can. You save that and uh, reboot. Opening up the Dragon Center software uh, again and the system tuner, I just want to make sure that I've got it set to sport, no turbo mode. And again, looking at HW monitor, you can see that the clock speed is uh, 4.1 uh, gigahertz. So let's do a Cinebench run again. You'll notice that the wattage is about 74 watts, so that's perfect. You can see the turbo boost is uh, around about 4.1 gigahertz. So let's see what score we get. So overclocking the BIOS, 834 points, very similar to using the Dragon Center software. Our third method is using some software uh, called Throttle Stop, which you can download from Tech Power Up. There are many options in Throttle Stop, many of which you probably won't even use. Clock modulation is a feature built into Intel CPUs that can be used to slow a processor down and throttle their performance internally. Speed step uh, alters the voltage up and down in small increments so it can improve balance between power and performance. BD proc hot is bi-directional processor hot and that basically throttles the CPU when it gets too hot, for example, between 100 and 105 Celsius. C1E is enhanced halt state, and this reduces the voltage and frequency as needed to save power and lower temperatures. So I start off by clicking on FIVR, and on the left-hand side, you can switch uh, the multipliers to whatever number you seem fit. So here, 
I am switching them to uh, 41, which I uh, know is uh, fairly stable for me. I then also increase the cash ratio to have a minimum of 8 and a uh, maximum of 41, which is the same as the uh, multiplier levels. I then click on OK and go to TPL. So in TPL, I change the uh, package power limits to 230 to uh, make sure I get ample wattage to the CPU and uh, increase the turbo time limit uh, to, to 96. I click OK. So you can see in uh, HW monitor, the frequency is at 4.1. So let's have a go at uh, Cinebench again. So you'll notice that the package wattage for the CPU is 73 watts. That is ideal. It means that uh, the CPU is getting plenty of power. And uh, you will notice that the uh, clock speeds are pretty steady, around about uh, 4.1 turbo. So again, we get quite consistent results, 833 points. Next up is my final method using Intel's Extreme Tuning Utility. So before using Intel's Extreme Tuning Utility, I set the clock stocks to stock. So once you have it open, click on Advanced Tuning and All Controls, and you'll be greeted with something looking like this. Basically, I want to set the only power meters as I had before, so clicking the multipliers up to uh, 41 across the board, changing the uh, Turbo Boost Power Max up to 230, and you'll notice that it'll also increase the uh, Turbo Boost Short Power Max up to uh, the same level. So I also increase the uh, processor cache ratio up to 41 to replicate the 41 in the uh, multiplier. Click on Apply, and then you can save it to a uh, profile. Give the profile a name, so it's easy to remember, and yeah, you'll be good to go. If you want to load up a profile, click on Profiles, Show Value, then click Apply. As you can see, the CPU is clocked at uh, 4.1 GHz. Great, let's have another go at Cinebench. So again, checking the CPU power there, 74 watts, and the uh, CPU frequencies again around about 4.1 GHz. Let's see what score we get. So, score of 829 points. I'm very impressed with the consistency here. I think the key thing is to ensure that the CPU gets enough power and the temperatures are kept cool. Well, I think that was fairly straightforward, wasn't it? And you certainly see the benefits of uh, overclocking the CPU. I think if you've got the software in the uh, laptop itself, then it's worthwhile uh, sticking to that. It's already in there, it's fine-tuned, it uh, makes it quite stable, and it's very easy to do. So I would probably stick at doing that. Now, if you don't have any decent software to, to use, pick uh, which was uh, your favorite, either XTU or Throttle Stop. I think I do quite like uh, the uh, XTU or the Intel uh, Extreme Tuning Utility um, out of the two. But, you know, everyone to their own. So, I hope you enjoy that. And uh, please see the links below for um, all the, uh, the downloads. Give me a thumbs up if you like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Thanks again and see you next time.